Prime Minister Son Sai Si Pandon issued the instruction to stakeholders at the Tanalang Dry Port in Vientiane to work together to streamline procedures, speed up logistics and transport systems, and cut costs to boost the flow of freight destined for delivery within Laos and to countries in the sub-region. Prime Minister Son Sai Si Pandon on Saturday visited the Tanalang Dry Port in Vientiane, issuing the instruction after learning that it was possible to implement cost-cutting measures and remove unnecessary steps in the shipping process to bolster the competitiveness and speed up the transport of freight. Addressing the Prime Minister and his entourage, the chairman of the Vientiane Logistics Park Company Limited, the operator of the dry port, Mr. Chanton Sitisai, recommended that a system-wide inspection be carried out to calculate exactly which unnecessary procedures and costs could be cut. He was confident that if these issues were addressed, logistics costs could be reduced significantly. Mr. Chanton said his company is ready to consider appropriate cost cuts and suggested that other stakeholders in the logistics chain could also consider doing so. Prime Minister Sun Tsai welcomed the cost cut support and the proposed inspection towards eliminating unnecessary steps and costs. He said reducing logistics and transport costs is a common goal of the Lao government in efforts to increase competitiveness and transform landlocked Laos into a landling country. The Premier asked the government's task force under the National Committee on Trade and Transport Facilitation to assign a team to work with the dry port, the Laos China Railway Company and the Lao National Railway State Enterprise to work out cost structures and associated procedures that could streamline freight transport and cut the cost of logistics. The Premier told authorities in charge to carry out proper inspections of all containers, whether carrying goods destined for import or export or in transit, instead of random inspections as is currently the practice, in order to prevent the movement of prohibited or inappropriate goods. Prime Minister Son Tsai called for all stakeholders to work together to achieve the ultimate goal of making the Laos-China Railway a route of friendship, cooperation and prosperity that facilitates trade and services for the shared benefits of the people of the region. Explaining the operations of the dry port, its managing director Mr. Sakon Pilangam said the multimodal transport facility functions as an international border checkpoint for freight. Since it opened for service in December 2021, the dry port has handled a growing volume of cargo. Containers were shipped to countries such as Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, Malaysia, Singapore, China, and Russia. Laos is increasingly becoming a logistics hub for the sub-region, driven by the Laos-China Railway, which converges with the Laos-Thailand Rail Link at the Thailand Dry Port, Laos Integrated Logistics Center.